Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This is the TDS sensor that was sent to me by one of the companies in Bangalore called Krelogix. This sensor is used for measuring the total dissolved solid in water. Because of the dissolved solids, the water becomes conductive and there is a term called electrical conductivity to measure that parameter. Based on electrical conductivity, we determine whether the water is suitable for drinking or not. According to WHO standard, the EC value should not exceed 400 microsiemens per centimeter or 0.4 millisiemens per centimeter. The best temperature for drinking water at room temperature is 20 degrees Celsius and for chilled cold, it should be 6 degrees. So in this project, we will determine the drinking water quality using the TDS sensor and also the ds 20 waterproof temperature sensor. The controller that we are going to use here is ESP32 Wi-Fi module. To display the EC value and the temperature value, we will use a 0.96 inch I2C OLED display. Since we are involving the Internet of Things part in this project, therefore, we will use a ThingSpeak server to display the water quality parameters. The graph displayed on ThingSpeak can be monitored or viewed from any part of the world. Thus, finally, you can have your own drinking water quality monitoring system. So let's see how we can build this. Do you want professional PCB like this one that looks so good? Then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size, any shoulder color marks that you want, including something like red and green. You can select the thickness, and the PCB could be from 2 to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your hardware file and order now. And receive the PCB in couple of days. Welcome back again. This is the TDS sensor pro for measuring the TDS value of the water. It can be applied to domestic water, hydrophonic and other fields of water quality testing. This product supports 3.3 to 5.5 volt wide voltage input and 0 to 2.3 volt analog voltage output, which makes it compatible with 5 volt or 3.3 volt control system or boards. This is the signal connector board that connects the TDS sensor probe. Basically, this is an amplifier board with noise filtering IC that amplifies low level signal to measurable voltage with almost no noise. The output from this board is of analog type which can be read by the ADC of a microcontroller. This is a DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensor. We need to use this temperature compensation method here to determine the water electrical conductivity. This is because there is water conductivity rise as per rise in temperature. The sensor has three pins and works on one wide protocol. The output of the sensor is digital and it requires a pull up register to get the power from the PCC pin. The power is called parasitic power. The most important part of this project is a microcontroller. We'll use the ESP32 Wi Fi module for this project. The ESP32 has a Wi-Fi chip for RT application. It has an analog and digital output pins for connecting sensors. We will interface TDS and temperature sensor with this board. This is a 0.96 inch SSD1306 I2C OLED display. We are using this display so that we can display the temperature and issue value on this tiny display unit. Here is a connection diagram for this project. The TDS sensor output is connected to the A0 pin that is GPIO36 of ESP32. Similarly, the DS18B20 sensor output pin is connected to GPIO25 of the ESP32 board and we connected OLED display to the I2C pin of ESP32. For testing purpose, I assemble the given circuit on a breadboard. So as you can see here, the ESP32 module, OLED display, Temperature sensor and TDS sensor are connected to ESP32 with the help of jumper wires. In case you want to use a custom PCB for this project, 
you can use a PCB designed using the EGEDA. The Garner file the PCB is given in the website article. Now let's move to the programming part of this project. A lot of libraries are required here. We are using the EPROM library for calibrating data storage. Wi-Fi library is for Wi-Fi communication. The one wire and the Dallas temperature library are used for DS18 V20 temperature sensor. The ADS1015 is used for ESP32 ADC pin. The DF robot ESP EC library is written for calculating the EC value. The GFX and SST1306 library is used for OLED display. In these lines, we need to change some parameter. This is the string API key for establishing a connection with ThingSpeak server. Change the Wi-Fi SSID and password from these lines. In the setup part, we are initializing EPROM, TDS and temperature sensor and also OLED display. In the loop section, we calculate temperature and EC value using some library function. Then we are printing all this value on 0.96 inch OLED display. This line is for calibrating the sensor. Then using the HTTP POST method, we will post the sensor data to ThingSpeak server. Now let's set up the ThingSpeak server first. For that, go to thingspeak.com and log in to or create the account using the email or password. Then create a new channel. Give any name to the channel. Fill 1 gives temperature and fill 2 gives electrical conductivity. So two charts are created here. These charts are used to display the sensor data. Now go to the API keys section. From here, copy the right API key and paste it onto the line of this code. Thus, code modification is completed now. Now go to tools and select ESP32 Wi-Fi tab module from the list. Also select the COM port. Then click on upload button to upload the code. Once the code is uploaded, it will try connecting to the Wi-Fi network. On a successful connection, the serial monitor will display the red data from sensor. This means our system is working fine. Now to test the product, we will use OLED display. The OLED display will display the room temperature which is 27 degree now and it is also displaying the EC value as 0. This is because the sensor is not in contact with liquid and is free in the air. To test its working, I will use salt as salt water is a great conductor of electricity. It can be useful for testing applications. Since the water is distilled, the EC value is almost 0 here. Now to make changes to the EC value, I will start adding the salt to the water. So you can see here, the adding salt to the water has started making changes to the EC value. It is rising gradually. The more you add and dissolve the salt, the more the EC value is. When you remove the sensor probe, the EC value will gradually drop as water starts drying and affecting the conductivity. Now let's monitor this data online on the internet. To do that, go to the private views of the ThingSpeak server. So you can see here, the data is being uploaded at a regular interval of every 15 seconds. You can share this data publicly as well so that it can be viewed from any part of the world by anyone. To monitor the drinking water data, you can just place the data at remote location and stay at home. Use the mobile dashboard or the desktop dashboard to monitor this data wirelessly. The complete project details including the device information, purchase link, source code and the written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.